Hello. The case I've decided to present today is Hasbro Inc. versus Internet Entertainment Group LTD. Uh, first, I'm going to discuss a little bit of the history behind Hasbro. The company was formed in the 1920s as Hassan Field Brothers Incorporated, which was a textile remnant company. Um, shortly thereafter, they evolved into a pencil manufacturing company, eventually expanding to a full line of school supplies. In the late 1930s, Hassan Field expanded their line of school supplies to include toys. By 1942, the company primarily manufactured toys. In 1968, the company changed its name to Hasbro Industries and had its first public offering on the stock market. Today, Hasbro Inc. is the world's second largest toy manufacturer. Through acquisitions in the 80s and 90s, uh, they also produces toys under the names Play School, Romper Room, Tonka, Nerf, and Cabbage Patch Kids. Now we'll discuss financial ratios from Hasbro's annual report with the SEC. We're only going to look at the most current year, 2021, as compared to, pre to previous years in terms of growth. Net revenues for 2021 increased by 17% to $6.42 billion. Earnings before interest, tax, and depreciation increased by 32% to $1.04 billion. Operating profit was reported at $796.3 million, which amounts to 11.9% of revenue. This is an improvement of 9.2% from 2020. Overall, all operating segments of Hasbro saw increases in revenue, ranging from 9% in consumer products to 42% in digital gaming. Year-end cash for 2021 was $1.02 billion, which generated $800 and $17.9 million in operating cash and paid down $1 billion of long-term debt. Let's move on to the case of Hasbro Inc. v. Internet Entertainment Group, LTD. This case centers around Hasbro's well-known game called Candyland. You would be hard-pressed to find anyone who hasn't heard of this game. Um, Hasbro registered the trademark for Candyland in 1951. In the mid-90s, Internet Entertainment Group, led by employee Brian Cardmel, utilized the domain name Candyland.com for a pornographic website. Um, because of this, anyone doing an internet search of Candyland would be directed to a sexually explicit website. Um, Hasbro brought suit against Internet Entertainment Group for trademark dilution. What is trademark dilution? Um, trademark dilution occurs when a third party uses a mark or trade name that is similar enough to a well-known mark to cause a public perception of the mark to be tarnished. Hasbro was seeking a permanent injunction to prevent the usage of the trademark. Preliminary injunction was granted during the court proceedings to preserve the situation and to prevent further damage. In court, Hasbro claimed that the use of the domain name infringed on their Candyland trademark and that the public associates the mark with innocence and wholesome family fun. Internet Entertainment Group disagreed. They thought consumer confusion would not occur 
because the two companies offered such different offerings. Hasbro argued that their trademark for Candyland has been in use for 50 years, making the mark famous and entitled to protection under the Federal Trademark Dilution Act. The federal court granted Hasbro's permanent injunction against Internet Entertainment Group. The court agreed that Candyland.com was causing irreparable damage to Hasbro 